this is a chooky beat for dust. All right, what's good, y'all? So, as I was sitting down today and I was thinking, I became really interested in what is it that makes somebody influential for positive change or for, for good? You know, um, as I look around, I, I've seen many examples of people who are in, able to influence um, and have a powerful amount of influence and they're able to use it for good and able to get people to um, make changes or to, to operate or to conduct um, themselves in a way in a, in, in a way that will better themselves in some way, shape, or form. And so I've become um, really enamored with, I don't even know if that's the right word that I should be enamored, but I've become, um, um, what do you say, very interested, we'll just keep it simple, um, in what is it that makes uh, influencers influencers. Um, and so the first person I was thinking about was LeBron James, and what has uh, allowed him to make allowed him to become an influencer. And a couple of things came to mind. That I'm going to share with you, and I'm hoping that as we uh, look into these things, it's you'll get some glimpse and some insight that you can add into your own life that will help you to also become an influencer for good. Um, and I think it's important because. One, you can never have too many people uh, influencing for good. And secondly, uh, to become an influencer, I think uh, it, it forces you to become a better version of yourself. All right. So um, let's go through it, man. We're talking about LeBron James. So one of the first things that I noticed, and I think this is the starting point for him, is that there's something that he mastered. And for him, that thing was basketball. Um, and of course, another thing is that it, you know, not only did he master something, but he mastered something that um, is valuable to the to society, right? And whether whether you like it or not, um, basketball is something that's valuable to society. It provides a bunch of jobs to a bunch of different folks, not just the people who are playing, but uh, people who have. Um, you know, administrative jobs, you know, the stadiums that are built because of it, the, the stadiums also have to hire staff or what have you, the money that comes into a city because of that, etc., etc. We can go on and on. This is not about economics or financial stuff, but this is just about the fact that, you know, he, he mastered something that had valuable um, for, the, for, for, for society. And um, that's important because it, it's, it's, not just that he, I mean, he has a lot of other good traits, but I think that him mastering something is what puts him on the scene and allows him to then have a voice of influence, right? There are a lot of people who um, possess some of the other traits that, they ha that he has, but because they haven't necessarily shown themselves to be excellent in, 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 in a particular area, um, it, it somewhat stifles sometimes their voice, okay? So, so of course, remember, think about these things as it pertains to your life. So, is there something that you might need to master? Um, is there something that you can master? Um, and then leverage that, um, leverage your excellence in that area to give you a voice um, of influence uh, in that area and other areas. Another thing that I found was that uh, he gives charity. This is thing number two. He gives charity. Um, so, so I would sum it up by saying he's a giver, and a giver in multiple ways, right? So, one there's a giver in charity in terms of um, when I think about charity, I think about when you give to people who can't give back, who are not in a position of being able to give back, um, but you're simply giving because you realize that uh, you're not here to just gain more and more for yourself. But you're here to also do for those who are not in a position to do for themselves, whether it be because they don't have the same type of information um, that you're, you're you're privy to. And, and when I say have the same type of information, uh, maybe sometimes they, they, the information is there, but because of how they've grown up, because of the context in which they've grown up, they don't even know how to handle the information, right? So he gives back um, to, in terms of charity, but he also gives back in terms of empowerment. And one of the things that uh, many people still don't know is that LeBron, 
you know, whereas a lot of athletes have had people around them and have, you know, given them and given and given to them in such a way that even their own resources become depleted, LeBron was one of the first that said, like, no, I'm not going to just give to my friends. And luckily he had friends that didn't want to just take, take, take from him also. But what he did is he set his friends up. He, he said, listen, okay, y'all are my friends. This is what we're going to do. Um, I, instead of having my uh, my agent and the marketing company or what have you that handles my stuff, we're going to form our own marketing company, right? So I'll fire my agent and start my own marketing company. I'll make one of my boys my actual agent, right, uh, of, of all my stuff. Another one will run the marketing company overall um, that markets me out. And another person is going to be my day-to-day, um, my day-to-day uh assistant so to speak right handles my day-to-day operations um and so he did this with some of his friends and now his friends have done well for themselves right his, you told my one of his friends gave a, a talk at harvard university i think harvard business school um others of his friends are brokering deals uh and starting their own company so he 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 leveraged his um you know his, his fame and used it to create opportunities for other people to where they have now become influencers, right? Um, another thing that he did, the third thing is that he takes advice, but he remains true to himself. And I think a lot of people respect that. So um, while some people have constantly argued and said, you know, things like LeBron needs to take the last shot. LeBron did listen to that and say, you know what? Maybe I do need to take the last shot a little bit more. But he still has found a way to remain true to himself. And when he say he finds moments where he passes the ball instead of, instead of ball hogs, right? And so what so many people do is that they, they sometimes get away from who they are and totally take on what other people t- tell them they should take on. And LeBron has found a way to find the balance in that. Um, he's also willing to give direction in his area of expertise. So LeBron is a person who, um, as he kind of made himself prominent in basketball he's also taking the time to teach others you know teach others the game like like what is it that how do you play this game more successfully um and he's built other people up right um and he's also advocate become an advocate so lebron has advocated for um so in one way he's advocated by being um on the collective bargaining um, not the collective bargaining, but whatever it's called, the, 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 the Players Association, right? That's what it's called. Himself, Chris Paul, and others, um, where they advocate for the rights of um, basketball players in the NBA. Um, but he's also been an advocate for the voiceless in terms of uh, underserved and underprivileged communities, uh, some like the, the in certain areas of Cleveland or what have you, and other places. Um, he, he's loyal. Uh, and he, he's shown himself to be loyal. He's one of the few uh, men that you'll see who is um, a star, but yet is to decide to marry their high school sweetheart. Um, he's loyal to his family. Um, he, he's loyal to his friends, right? So he's been friends with a lot of the same people for a very long time and has remained loyal to them. Um, he takes calculated risks, right? So he decided to, to, to step out and, and invest his money, right? Do things like make his boys his and his friends his his business partners and agents or what have you um he, you know decided to make the move to uh miami right but then move back to cleveland so he's taking calculated risks um another thing he doesn't get into trouble often right so rarely have you seen lebron uh get himself into any kind of significant trouble uh that that causes people to attack his character right um, and I think a lot of people, we would do well as much as possible to stay out of trouble, um, unwarranted trouble, you know, um, trouble that we can avoid, trouble that's unnecessary. Um, what else do I have here? Oh, so he, so he, he educates himself. One thing I noticed about LeBron is that he educates himself regarding whatever venture it is he decides he's going to take on next. Okay, so um, he doesn't go into something blindly. You have a lot of people who they make a lot of money, and so they think that because they have a lot of money, they can just invest it blindly. Maybe they lose everything, right? Um, and, but LeBron has been wise about the investments that he makes. He's always calculated. Into, it's going to be a risk. Like, you have to take risk, but he's calculated about the risk that he takes. Um, and another thing is that the last thing I'll leave you with is that LeBron appears to genuinely... 
uh, be satisfied and happy with the things that matter most, with things like family, with things like friends, with things like uh, being an, a, a voice in the in, in the community or what have you. Um, real, I haven't really seen LeBron. Yes, he might wear nice suits or what have you, um, but that's just because he has money. But yeah, I, I haven't seen him feel the need to show off, um, you know, lots of jewelry and all that kind of stuff um, in the media and stuff like that, right? Whereas I see a lot of people who aren't making nearly as much as him, but he's probably spending way more on things that don't matter uh, as him. And he, when he talks, he never really talks. And I'm, what I, I know I've seen him in Ferraris and stuff like that. So I'm not saying that he doesn't appreciate the nicer things or the finer things in life. But what I'm saying is that he seems to really value um, the intangible kind of things uh, more than the material things, right? He values having a good character. He values genuine happiness. He values relationships with um, good, having good and healthy relationships with people above just having material things, right? And so... Um, again, average is failure, influence is power. And so we're going to study a bit about what is it that makes certain people influential um, and how can we take on some of those same qualities so that we can have positive influence um, in the circles and in the spheres that we are a part of. So that's it for me. It's been born and me. It's been good rocking with you. Average is failure. Peace.